rappers who dissed Anthony Fantano. Mostly known for his harsh criticism towards musical artists, Anthony Fantano, also known as the internet's biggest music nerd, is a 35-year-old with a respectable YouTube following of over 3 million subscribers across his personal, meme, and music review channels. Fantano, That Is The Plan, and The Needle Drop. In 2007, Fantano began to work for Connecticut Public Radio, where he hosted The Needle Drop. In the years to come, he would begin to expand on his music talk show, which would eventually evolve into the form of video responses on YouTube in September of 2009. His YouTube involvement would shift the way that millions of individuals consume their media. Despite the overwhelming amount of love that Fantano has received, with his line of work, he often receives much hate as well. These artists often put in weeks, months, or even years into their work so that they can share a piece of themselves with the world. And the constructive criticism that Fantano gives out can often be difficult for the artist to digest. This is especially hard when the criticism that Fantano gives is not always politely told, often shown through slurs and dissing the artists themselves and not necessarily their work. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to join this month's giveaway on some of the free stuff on your screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, watch the video till the end, and then leave a comment with the keyword down below. Number 6. Oliver Tree Oliver Tree Nickel, better known as Oliver Tree, is an extremely successful multimedia artist who rose to fame in late 2016 following his single, When I'm Down, five years after the launch of his music career. His work covers a plethora of genres including pop, rock, and rap, gaining him a large fan base of over 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Prior to the July 17, 2020 release of his debut album, Ugly is Beautiful, Fantano invited Nickel onto his music review channel, The Needle Drop, in order to answer some questions from fans regarding him and his album. However, upon receiving some more personal questions, Oliver became hostile towards Fantano, saying, quote, I put so much time into this music, and for some guy who's never made music before, to try to tell me how to make my music? Yeah, of course I might get a little defensive. I've been working on it for 20 years. Eventually, Oliver became so upset that he left the sight of the camera and hung up on the live stream. You face. You, Anthony, fucking fart face. You, f you, head. <laughs> Oliver's done talking. Following his interview with Anthony, Oliver Tree announced that Ugly is Beautiful would be his last album, at least for a while and he will be retiring from his music career and instead focusing on his dream of opening a production company to create screenplays, a medium that he is more passionate about as he feels it is more effective in telling his stories. Number 5. Tyler the Creator On April 14th of 2015, just a day after the release of Tyler the Creator's single, Cherry Bum, Fantano had already released his extremely harsh review, rating the album a measly 3 onto his YouTube channel for all to see. Within the review, Fantano says that Tyler the Creator is an artist who has constantly disappointed his fans time and time again, yet his fans still wished for him to prove them wrong and give them something good to listen to. Tyler argued on Twitter that reviewers had not taken their time to accurately review his album, as it had only been out for 30 hours while other singles and albums that have reviewed have often been out for years. Though it was never confirmed that Tyler the Creator's comment was targeted at Fantano, Many believe it was, considering his track history with other content creators. Number 4. Post Malone Austin Richard Post, more commonly known as Post Malone, started his infamous career at the young age of 15 years old and has been unstoppable ever since, producing many hits, Sunflower and Better Now, just to name a few. As someone extremely passionate about his music, it is said to be easy to get a rise out of Post Malone when insulting his art form. Anthony became upset at the mass amount of comments asking him to make a video reviewing the album, and instead posted a 50-second video where he only introduces the album before going to watch a cartoon. In a 2016 tweet, Fantano finally reviewed Posty's debut album, August 26th, and gave him harsh criticism. Post Malone responded by answering negative subtweets on Fantano's original tweet and later dissed him by calling him to grating terms and name dropped him on a single Sugar Wraith in 2018. There have been no further arguments between the two, so we can only assume that they're still under bad terms with one another. Number 2. Eminem Based for Eminem, also known as the Rap God, having around half a dozen videos scattered across his platforms dissing the artist. 
and giving him poor reviews on his hits that millions love. And he ends the album flushing the pills down the toilet, which is actually kind of fitting for this album to end with the sound of a toilet flushing. Yeah, this, this thing is awful. Light 2. In the same lens as the rest of this album, same album cycle, same vibe, same whatever. Uh, feeling a decent too strong 3 on this one. Eminem had stayed silent when faced with Fantano's harsh criticism, until Eminem's collaboration with Busta Rhymes calmed down. In this song, he finally gets back at Fantano for the years of judgment when he raps the line, quote, Internet bloggers. I sit in front of the computers all day and comment on everything. I'm an expert on everything. Everything sucks. Play the next song. Fantano would later make a lighthearted video entitled Eminem Diss Me in the Calm Down Song, where he jokingly told his audience of all the work that goes into making his videos, and that he was just doing what it takes to provide for his family of nine. So this... Eminem man dissed me in a song that he's in, where he's... Eminem has never directly responded to this video, or any of the other videos that Fantano's continued to produce about him since. Number 1. Red Veil Over the past few months, Anthony Fantano has been under fire after a Twitch stream in August of 2020, where he negatively reviewed and then attacked the 16-year-old up-and-coming rapper Red Veil. Prior to this stream, many of Fantano's fans had criticized him for only listening to music which gave him more views, such as new releases of modern pop, and ignoring small indie artists until he finally gave in to their requests and listened to Red Veil's music. In the stream, it is said that Anthony started dissing the rapper before even listening to his work, and then refused to listen to the entire song before he gave out harsh and unprofessional criticism to the young artist. It's mediocre, it's boring, it's not that interesting, it's underwhelming, needs to go back in the incubator and grow into something actually like substantive. Um, you know, come back when you're ready is, is maybe the, uh, uh, how I want to put it. Um, can, we stop, can we stop asking for this now? Many listeners of the stream became upset and felt that Fantano didn't give the young rapper a real chance. Red Veil responded to the stream in a tweet where he said, quote, Fantano feels the need to rant about my music before he even plays it. Fantano then took to Twitter, in which he harassed the young artist and those who stood up for him and his work by spamming his timeline with posts including strong slurs. The following morning, Anthony took to Twitter once more, not to apologize for his action, but to place the blame onto the hip-hop community for forcing him to listen to the work. This altercation caused thousands of his followers to flee, but has since calmed down. Do you think that Anthony Fantano was too hard on these artists, and their responses were justified? Or did these rappers act irrationally? Let us know in the comments. Hey you! Yeah, you! You like this video? Great! We got another one for you that we guarantee you would like. All you have to do is click on the screen. It's free, and without any hidden fees. But you have to click fast, because this message will self-destruct in… 5 seconds.